What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. Recently, just before the draft has started, a big trade has gone down with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Minnesota Timberwolves. Again, I'm be doing more of a face cam video this time. I didn't actually have the time to get the footage to make this, but pretty much the Cleveland Cavaliers actually acquired the Minnesota Timberwolves point guard Ricky Rubio, a 2022 second round pick and cash for Taurine Prince. Now, let me tell you guys, this is an absolute W for definitely the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think the Minnesota Timberwolves, it's a, it's a slight, you know, it's a win-win, really, but the Timberwolves definitely come out of this trade as the, the team that didn't get as much. You know, Torian Prince will be great for them. He can come in and play power forward. They really need a power forward. And I think Ricky Rubio, they didn't really need at all, especially if they were going to play D'Lo as their point guard. So wasn't really a purpose for Ricky Rubio at all. But when we look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, it is doing my head in how many people are saying, oh, we've got so many guards, you know, so many point guards on this team. No, we don't. We Just because we drafted Darius Garland and Colin Sexton in two drafts in a row does not mean we have a bunch of point guards. For example, Matthew Dallavadova was our backup point guard. He's not even in the league anymore. He's playing for Melbourne United in the Australian NBL League. Come on. Damian Dotson was our other guy that played a bit of backup point guard towards the end of the season too. He won't be coming back to the Cavs, you wouldn't think. This team really needed a backup point guard. And I think Ricky Rubio will be perfect. He's a great defender, great playmaker. Those are the two things the Cavs really needed was playmaking, leadership, and defense. And I think Ricky Rubio can bring all three of them to the table. While, of course, his scoring is not great, but they don't need scoring. They can go out and get scorers in free agency. It's not what they needed. It's not like Torrain Prince is a scorer, really, either. So, that's a terrific trade, you know. Ricky Rubio is a better player than Torrain Prince, in my opinion. So, I'm all for this trade. Not just that, a second-round pick, which I think, personally, will get flipped in this draft. Um, I think the Cavs are going to be looking to trade so many second-round picks for players in this draft. I've really heard that they're interested in... Um, Brandon Boston Jr. or BJ Boston, some people are calling him. He'll probably be an early second round pick, like 40 or something like that. The Cavs will probably get him. I've heard they're really interested in Jalen Johnson. Now, he'll either go top 10 or he'll probably fall down the draft. I saw a mock trade actually taking him at 19 uh, yesterday. If he falls down at 19, I think the Cavs will try and trade for a first round pick. They've been very active in trying to trade for a first round pick. They've, of course, got Larry Nance, who a lot of contenders really like. There was a rumor, like, last year that a contender was ready to offer up a first-round pick and a protected first-round pick for Larry Nance. It's because Larry Nance has got great leadership, great defense, he's a good playmaker. He's just someone you want on your team. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if a team really offered up a big trade to kind of make this happen, of course. Um... But, yeah, I think the Cavs will be very, very active in this draft. I did not think we were going to be active in last draft, which we weren't. I think this draft, we will be super active. So, if the Cavs don't walk out of this tra you know, draft with... You know, if they walk out with only one player, I'll be pretty disappointed. Because I think there's more players the Cavs can get out of this draft, in my opinion. But Ricky Rubio, that is a great start. Cash considerations as well. Some teams legitimately just trade players in the draft that are like pick 40s or whatever for cash considerations so legitimately the Cavs could probably trade cash considerations for Brandon Boston if that really came to it so the Cavs are making moves I definitely would really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel my IRL slash flowing channel and of course let me know what you guys think about Ricky Rubio and him of course, being traded to the Cavs. Of course, definitely let me know down below. But as I was saying, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.